Welcome to my channel. Today I want to give you some news about three different items that might be of interest to you. But before I do that, I have to thank each and every one of you for coming to my channel, for watching my videos, for liking them, for commenting on them, for sharing them. And thank you especially to those of you who have subscribed to my channel. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. I'm really thankful for each and every one of you that comes and subscribes and watches my content. Thank you very much. Today I want to talk about three different items. And they all should be of interest to you. Uh, the first one... Oh, got a phone call. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Had to get something done with my hearing aids. This first item I've told you about before, but it's gotten more interesting. The district attorney in Fulton County, uh, Georgia, Fannie Willis, who is uh, trying Trump on charges of conspiracy to defraud and other things like that related to the 2020 election. Uh, I, I gave you the story earlier where it's been exposed that she hired her lover as the special prosecutor and um, then her lover's wife in the divorce suit that he filed has subpoenaed Fannie Willis. Well, in typical fashion for these liberals, Fannie lashes out and claims that the defense attorneys in the Trump case are racists. Of course they are. And in a court filing, they accused uh, Mr. Wade's wife, this is the wife of Fannie's lover, uh, of obstructing the controversial case against Republican frontrunner and attempting to damage Willis' reputation. Now, <laughs> Uh, Willis has damaged her own reputation. She did that to herself. But, you know, this is the typical thing that these people do is they claim, and I, when I say these people, I'm not talking about black people, so don't come on me with that crap. I'm talking about unethical, dishonest, corrupt individuals, regardless of skin, color, ethnicity, race, religion, whatever else you want to do. If they're unethical and corrupt, it doesn't matter what party they're a part of. She happens to be a Democrat, which the Democrats seem to have mastered corruption and unethical behavior, but that's another story for another day. But um, she, she's lashing out now. She went to her church, believe it or not, and spoke at her church Oh, boy. Let me see if I can find this for you. I'm going to put these links in the description so you can read them all. Um, the filing that she, she filed in the divorce case says she can, that uh, the, her lover's wife conspired with interested parties in the criminal election interference case to use the civil discovery process to annoy embarrass and oppress Willis. <laughs> That's, oh, Lord of mercy. Really, woman, you had an affair with a woman's husband while he was still married to her, and now he's divorcing her, and now she's found out that, she had, that he had the affair, and she's filing a subpoena against the lover, you, <laughs> and you're calling yourself the victim. Uh, yeah. So this is what she said. Now, this is, this is just beyond the pale to me. At Big Bethel AME Church in Atlanta, she said, and I quote, God, you did not tell me as a woman of color it would not matter what I did. My motive, my talent, my ability, and my character would be constantly attacked. You cannot expect black women to be perfect and save the world. We need to be allowed to stumble. <laughs> okay, that... <coughs> excuse me. 
excuse me, that sounds like an admission of guilt to me. What's it sound like to you? I'll let you read the rest of this article, but suffice it to say that she's throwing out the race card and doing victim blaming to the nth degree because she'd been caught and busted and her case is falling apart. So keep an eye on that because that's going to get more interesting as the days go by. Now, the second item is something that should disturb you. Jim Jordan tweeted this. We now know the federal government flagged terms like MAGA and Trump to financial institutions if Americans completed in transactions using these terms. What was also flagged? If you bought a religious text like a Bible or stopped at Bass Pro Shops. Now, <laughs> this is right out of the communist playbook. They want to be able to spy on Americans because we disagree with them about the future of our country. And they want to gather information on us so they can use it against us in courts and in other ways to suppress us because they don't like what we're doing. Seriously. I'll put the link in the description. You can read the tweet yourself. He includes the letter that he wrote, which has all the detail in it. But I mean, if you don't think this is disturbing. <laughs> okay, I'll show you something that's even more disturbing. If you're not familiar with it, there is a, uh, a, a organization called the World Economic Forum. And they have a meeting every year in Davos, Switzerland. All the wealthy people in the world get together. You know, the uh, Warren Buffetts, the uh, George Soros types, <clears throat> you know, uh, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, all these rich people that think that us poor peons aren't worth talking about and we should just shut up and go away. They meet every year in Davos. And this year in Davos, they said something really interesting. You need to listen to this because I guarantee you it's going to raise the hackles on your spine. Is And uh, digital technologies mainly have an analytical power. Now we go into a predictive power and we have seen the first examples and your company very much involved into it. But since the next step could be in, to go into a prescriptive uh, mode, which means um, uh, you you do not even have to have elections anymore because you can already uh, predict what uh, predict and afterwards you can say why do we need elections because we know what the result will be. <laughs> sure. Let's just let computers decide for us. Who's going to rule our lives? Make perfect sense? Yeah. In, a, in an ideal world, it might actually be possible for AI to predict the results of an election. It might be possible. But you and I both know that as soon as you put a system like that into place, nefarious people would go in to alter it, to affect it so that they get what they want. Yeah, we're going to let computers tell us who we elected. <sighs> Look, the world is rapidly moving towards insanity. And the only thing that's going to save us is God. Now, I don't care if you believe that or not. It's the truth. The only thing that's going to save us is God because the devil is working overtime to destroy your freedoms, to take away everything that you have. They've actually said last year at Davos that there will come a day when you will own nothing and you will be happy. They actually said that. That's what the rich... Now, do you think they're talking about themselves? Do you think they're going to own nothing? 
Ah, oh, man, I'll tell you what. If you don't believe this stuff, you're an idiot. It's staring you in the face. They're trying to take over the entire world. And they have the money and the power to do it. And it's really, really hard to stop them in the sense knowledge world. But in the spiritual world, we have the power and we can be victorious. But we have to pray and we have to believe. That's the only thing that's going to save us. If you want to keep your eyes closed and go on be bopping down the road thinking that everything is just hunky-dory and all this stuff is conspiracy theories, go right ahead. And when the whole thing comes crashing down on your head, don't say you weren't warned. As for my users, my viewers, the people that watch my channel and the people that subscribe to my channel, I pray that regardless of what happens in the world, you will continue to be abundant and that you'll have a long life and good health and that God will keep you safe from harm because he can do that. And I pray that God will do the same for every person you love because they matter to you. And I also pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your request known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet wishing you well. Out.